Hello, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this effect in Adobe Illustrator. Um, so you see here, this kind of a, the shapes are kind of interacting with one another in a kind of a globular fashion. If you're familiar with a 3D program, such as Cinema 4D, you might know it as the Metaball effect, but um, you can do it in Illustrator just by, um, by using compound paths, and I'm gonna show you right now. So let's get rid of that, and we're just gonna create our shapes that we're gonna work with. Now, you can use any shapes you like, I'm just going to use an ellipse because that's uh, nice and easy for me and it looks pretty cool. So we're just going to option drag this to duplicate it. You can copy paste it, whatever you want. Um, anyway, and it doesn't have to be the same shape either. You can just draw another shape if you want, but I just, I'm just going to do it this way. So we've got these. We need to create a compound path. You can hit command eight on your keyboard or you can go uh, object compound path make. That will give us our compound path. You can see now once you click on one, it'll select both because it's a compound path. So the next thing we need to do is we'll go to effect path offset path. We'll offset our path by any kind of random number. But um, first we start with a positive value of six. Just for this experiment, it can be anything. And we'll just change our joins, change our joins to round. Okay, cool. So what I normally do is I'll just click into one of these and I'll go again effect. This is another effect. It's going to ask if I want to replace it. I'm going to select yes. Uh, effect, path, offset, path. We'll click yes to apply new effect. We'll change our joints to round. And this time we're going to choose a value of minus six. So the second time you do, it has to be a minus value for us to work. And so now we're just going to uh, create our little globular effect. And you can do this with, um, with any shape you want. Uh, if you, so we'll see if you look here, we're in layer one compound path. So Anything we do in here will be part of this compound path, so we can create shapes and stuff like that, uh, and it'll interact with the piece. And if we were to, say, just add in a, I don't know, a rectangle, you can see the rectangle then become part of that shape. So it's a very powerful little, little tool in the right hands, you know? And then when we're finished, we can always, so if we see our geometry here, it's actually just still uh, non-committed. So if you want to commit the geometry, we can just go object, expand appearance, and that will give us a usable shape, or you can keep it the other way as a as an editable thing, or you can just copy paste it and keep it to one side on the artboard as a backup. Um, and that's it. That's the tutorial. So um, if you found this useful, I always appreciate a like and a subscribe, and um, all the best with your creative journey. Namaste, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, and bye-bye.